Hi, quick video here. A new hotfix was released today bringing us to version 1.19.9.0. It was released to address issues that were introduced in World Update 6. The release notes are linked in the description. My pre-install process included checking the store for updates to any applications as well as running the Windows Update tool to make sure things were current. Both the store and the updater had patches that they needed to apply. Once they were complete, I ensured my community folder was empty. Since I do not run with caching turned on, I didn't need to do anything with that, but if you do run with caching, you might consider removing your rolling cache before running up and patching the sim. Another consideration might be to ensure that your config file is not set to read only and is restored to its default settings. I know a lot of folks update their config files, so you might want to keep that in mind. After ensuring that Windows updates were current, I ran up the sim and it did a patch. This was prior to today's update being released, so I'm not really sure what that update was for. It was pretty small, so I let it run, and the sim ran up just fine afterwards, but I was still on the previous version of 1.19.8.0. After getting a Twitter notification that the update had been released, I went to the store app, but there was no update available there. I then ran the sim up, and it had no update available, and I was still on the previous version. I checked the forums, and folks were reporting that they were getting the update, so I ran the sim from the Xbox application that was suggested from the previous update, but again, there was no update available. After checking the store one more time and seeing nothing, I noticed some folks on the forum said that the patch would show up after rebooting. Since one of my Windows updates wanted to reboot anyway, that seemed like a reasonable thing to try, so I did just that. After I was rebooted, I checked the store again, and indeed a 4.6 megabyte patch was available, and I let that run. Once complete, I ran up the simulator and it then indicated it needed to be updated. I let the 527 megabyte patch download and apply and then the sim continued to load normally. I checked the sim version and indeed I was now on 1.19.9.0. I checked the content manager and an update was available for the previous world update so I applied that. I guess the main update here was for the night lighting issue that I did not experience. Apparently when you set render scale to less than 100%, the night lighting had issues. Folks on the forums confirmed that this was indeed fixed now. I did a quick test for FPS and it appears to be the same as the pre-patched version of the sim. I did want to check a couple of bugs that are in the sim to see if they got addressed. The ATC call ID is still missing from the UI even though it still appears on the aircraft properly. I can live with that for now. The percentage tooltip for the cockpit controls is still missing. I did a flight through the pattern at Kilo Victor November Yankee to see if the recent departure list on the world map was fixed. Sadly, that issue still persists. Well, we got a little progress with this patch, and the actual patching was nowhere near as horrible as the last one, so for that I'm grateful. Anyway, that's about it for this update. In conclusion, the patch went pretty smoothly for me. I'd really like to see them address some of these other persistent issues, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experience with this patch in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit like, as that really helps other folks find it. And until the next video, take care.